Hey little sweetie teens, Bubble Pop Kids here. We are doing Candy Bonanza. Oh yeah. Bubble like Candy Bonanza with like mini sushi. So cool. Love it. Oh, so excited. Haven't done one of these little Candy Bonanzas in a couple days. Oh, I love them. No squishy chopping. Just some candy tasting. And I got six new ones up here. Let's try them. Oh, what do you have? Let's see what you have really quick. Okay, mini candy fish. So weird. So realistic. Looks good. What is this? This is some shum shum candy with like sticker surprise. Love it. It's in the year. Was it Harry Potter World? You know I love that place. Universal Studios. And I picked up some chocolate frogs. Just like the ones in the movie. And I just can't wait to try them. See what they look like. See if they're similar to the ones in the movie. This box is a little weird though. It doesn't look like frogs. Classy. Oh, this box is super weird. Like, it doesn't remind me of anything about frogs at all. So weird. But maybe it's chocolatey. And what is this? Capricorn stick. What's a Capricorn stick? This one right here. Actually, Colleen brought me two candies back from Japan. She brought me these. Caplico stick. I don't know what it is, but they look like mini ice cream cones. This box is super light, so I just don't know. And she also brought me a little candy machine. Little crane game. It's badass. Bubble, she brought you a little crane game. Like, hara hara. What does that mean? I think it means elephant candy in Japanese. So cool. We gotta play that. So we're gonna be opening this adorable little machine. Oh, it's so, so cute. And the final thing. This is right up my alley. You guys know I love my lip balms. These are candy edible lipsticks. If you can believe it or not, I don't know what they're gonna look like or taste like. But it says it right there. Candy lipstick. We get different colors, hopefully different flavors. I'm sorry for candy lipstick. I think I'm gonna lose my mind today. Ah! Look at little sugar babies. There's no time to waste. We got six of them right here. Let's do this. We gotta test them out one at a time. Come on. Alrighty, Bubba. We're starting with the Caplico. It's so weird. I don't know what Caplico means, but it looks yummy and ice creamy. It's on a stick. Open it. Let's start in with these little Colleen treats she brought me from Japan. Oh, this is the cutest box ever. I can't make much out of it, but I think it's chocolate, strawberry, vanilla flavored ice cream treats. Check it out. Ooh. Jackpot! Jackpot, Bubba! We hit the jackpot individually wrapped. I can't believe it. Little different flavors. Ice cream stick. Look at the pink one. Yes, she. Yes, going on here. Ooh, the cone. So, so cool. You guys, I just thought there was going to be a tray of like these candies. We get all of these super cute little wrapped up packages. I open the pink one and look at that. It is so weird. It looks like a giant cone. Almost feels like a cookie or like a wafer. It's got chocolate in there. Mm, that's delicious, bubble. That tastes like a king cone. Just like a king cone. But what's going on here? Kind of looks gross. That is so good. That's exactly what it is. It's kind of like a flaky wafer, very buttery. It's got this chocolate, almost like a chocolate bar inside. And then at the top, I can't make out what it is. It's like strawberry ice cream. It's strawberry chocolate that looks like ice cream. That's super flaky and creamy and like delicious. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> I took a bite of this. You guys, I think this may be the yummiest little cookie or candy I've ever tasted. This pink stuff inside, it tastes exactly like ice cream. I mean, it's solid, it doesn't melt. It's almost like a yogurt, like a, a yogurt candy. It's just delectable, it's delish. I cannot even take it. Let me try chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Let's she. Oh, that's chocolate, all right. That is some chocolate. It's a little baby scoop, but who cares? It looks so good. <coughs> Oh, this one is even better than the strawberry. Oh, it's so chocolatey. It's so light. It's flaky. I cannot even describe how good this is. The best candy I think I've ever tasted. We gotta do it. We gotta try vanilla. Just have to. I'm gonna eat this whole box. Ooh. Vanilla looking. And guess what, Bubba? It's vanilla tasting too. So vanilla, it tastes like ice cream on a cone. <laughs> Love it. I must say this was a very good choice to kick off the bonanza. It was so good. Well, there it is, guys. I don't know if you've ever tried these. This is my first time, and I have to say these are delish. I don't know how to describe them. It's like a cookie with a super light chocolate, like an airy chocolate. These are actually better than real ice cream cones. Love them. 
Move it along. Oh, next time Colleen goes to Japan, tell her to get a whole truckload of the Capricorns because we love them so much. Oh, are you serious? From like Caprico to like edible lipstick? I like your style. Really do. And then number two, another one I have never seen. Oh, it's so adorable. It's called Memory Sweeps. Really, really cute. I don't know how tasty they're going to be. These would be so cute for like little birthday party bags. Little lipstick candies. Look at that. Here it goes. I'm so curious what they look like. They're so cute. Mmm. Are you joking? Bubble, this is a piece of chalk. This isn't candy. What's wrong with you? Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what. Maybe some kind of like a gummy candy. But this looks like a piece of chalk. It's so weird. Let me taste. Oh, you know what that is? That is a strawberry sweetie tart. It tastes like a sweet tart or maybe like a little Pez candy, but it's so good and so sweet. Can't believe it. So, not exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting something a little more looking like lip balm, a little more tasty. This is basically a big old sweetie tart. It's sweet, it's kind of tangy. It's good, but nothing too spesh. Ooh, let's try the blue. Same color. <laughs> it's going on. Are you telling me that every single color, different top, is the same flavor? Bubble, this can't be happening. This is like a joke. It's so tasty, but like, I thought it was blueberry. Ugh. Try the pink and blue. Actually, these look like little pipsqueak markers. They're so, so cute. Uh, they're both the same flavor. Let's see the yellow. Maybe it's pineapple or something. Nope. It's pink. Same strawberry flavor. Bubble, so basically you're telling us you have one, two, three, four, five, six different colored candy lipsticks and they're all the same flavor and color? That's so bad. Here they all are lined up, you guys. They look so, so cute, but I'm a little disappointed with them. Just sweet tarts on a stick with a little top. Not too much else. No likey too much. Bubble, all I gotta say is that's a sham. A complete sham. Don't like it. I have a little sweetie ice cream, a little lipstick. Now we got... Shamini Shushi. Shashimi. Let's try it. Oh, this is not Shashimi. This is Mini Candy Shushi. It's got like wasabi and soy sauce and like California rolls. Get it right. From what I can gather, this looks like gummy candy. Oh, and I'm ready for some gummy after that last one. It was so gross. How cute. Look at this. It's like a little takeout tray. Oh, I love that. I'll do the honors, Bubba. Let me pop it open for you. Yes, she. Oh, <sighs> smells like raw fish gummy. Ooh, looks like lunchtime. Oh, I love my sushi. I love California rolls. I eat them probably every single day. So what do we have here? Look at that. I don't know what the real sushi is supposed to be, but it's basically marshmallow wrapped in, I don't know. Look at this. It's supposed to be like a brown imitation seaweed, but I think I know what this is. It's like a soda flavored sour power strip. Let me try. Oh, bubble, that wasn't too good. And this looks like a shrimp marshmallow. Mmm. Tastes like tangerine. So basically, all of these are like little marshmallows with gummy candies. That last one, I didn't like it too much. That brown, it almost tastes like a Dr. Pepper. Over here, we got this one. Looks like some rice marshmallow and cherry ribbon. Bubble, this was so much better than the brown seaweed one. It was so fruity and good. But look at this. Look at this. We get some soy sauce worms. Oh, this is so funny. Look how they did the soy sauce. It looks like these little earthworms. I think it's probably like a soda or maybe a chocolate flavored licorice. Let's see. Oh, Bubba, this is disgusting. It looks like worms and it tastes like medicine. Don't taste like no candy to me or soy sauce. Let's see this one. What's it going to be? These little things, they look like little berries. How cute. And I love these little teeny containers. So adorbs. Little gummy berries. I don't get it. What's the gummy berries for? We don't put berries on our sushi. So weird. And this is the wasabi sauce with a gummy bear. Look at this little green gummy ring. It's supposed to look like the wasabi. Oh, that's so super, super spicy, that green stuff. I don't even like that. But look at this gummy bear. It's so cute. And your final sushi on the tray. Looks like fish. Test it. Oh, this fish that was on top of the sushi marshmallow tastes exactly like a creamsicle, like an orange Julius. It's delicious. That's my favorite. And here we get this. What is that supposed to be? 
final thing on the tray. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe like a little rice ball. It's basically like a gumdrop with sprinkles. Ooh, it looks chewy. Arrgh! <laughs> Break my tooth. Okay, bubble teenies. So after trying the sushi tray, I didn't really like it. I just like this fish. That's it. Here it is, guys. A little sushi candy. Not the best tasting candy, but the cutest. They really made this stuff look like sushi. But I wasn't crazy about the taste. Especially this. Little earthworms. Move along. Behold, everybody, it's Chocolate Froggy from Harry Potter World in Orlando, Florida. Yes. Finally, we have come to the Chocolate Froggy box. This is like the weirdest looking candy. I picked it up at Honey Dukes in Florida at that little Harry Potter store. And it just looks crazy. It's got little clowns on there. Let's test it. I don't know what it's going to be. No way. You guys, I thought they were like little teeny chocolatey frogs. <gasps> there is one gigantic chuckle frog. Oh, that is crazy. It's so heavy. Solid milk chocolate. Baba, this is a little spooky. I'm a little scared right now. Look at this. Look at this. Who is that guy? A uh, weird. Inside of this little box, there was this card. It's got Godric Gryffindor on there. It is like a picture of this guy. His eyes are moving. Wow, he looks so real. That is so crazy. He's Godric Gryffindor. He's medieval. One of the four famous founders of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So rad. Look at him. He looks mean. So we got that crazy wizard guy on the card. I kind of like that. Oh, it's so weird. And we got a taste of chocolate. Little froggy. Look at this. Oh, the thing looks delish, but like I hope this guy didn't put a spell on it or something. I'm kind of scared. But it looks so good. Let me try. It's chocolate froggy delicious. Rub it. Rub it, rub it. I tried it out. I bit the leg. Oh, you guys, just solid milk chocolate. Tastes a little like a Hershey's bar, maybe a little bit creamier. So, so good. You could definitely eat this in maybe three or four days. Cut it into little froggy pieces. I like it. Okay, Bubba, put the Godric back in his little box and put your froggy on top and like shave it for later. Yeah. This was super tasty. Actually, better than I thought. Moving on. Oh, look what just appeared on your candy table. We got some Disney Sim Sim candy with like little, little Pokemon cards or something. On to candy number five of the Bonanza. And I have to say, this doesn't even look like candy. It looks like some stationery or something. It comes with this little surprise. I don't know what's in there. Maybe like stickers. And look how cute this bag is. It looks like there's little scribbles. Oh, it's too adorable. I could stare at it all day. you are driving me crazy. I could literally stare at this all day, but I don't want to because I want to eat the candy and shine. That's all I care about. Yes, she. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't even take it. These little mini individual packets of these Tsum Tsums, and they're not just Tsum Tsums. It's like they were drawn with like a marker. There is Donald. We get Minnie Mouse. We get Pooh Bear. Ooh, I think it's like an orange flavor. So cute. Oh, oh that's Sleepin Beauty. She's sleeping and like... She's got a strawberry flavor. So cool. And we got the Nightmare Before Christmas guy. Forgot his name in like orange. We also got Alice in Wonderland, but she's crying. Why is she crying, Bubba? And she's great flavor with the Cheshire Cat on the back. So funny. I don't know. These Japanese candies have the cutest packaging. They're like little pieces of art. Look at that. I didn't even see. There's Pooh Bear and then you got Piglet on the back. Show. Oh, no way. Look at this. Little Prince Charming. Let's try this one. Like a little... No, it's a little heart shape. How cute. Oh, this tastes like a fruit smoothie. Seriously, it's in the shape of a heart. It tastes like a strawberries and cream. Or like strawberries and banana fruit smoothie. It's unreal. So I tried the pink one. Oh, so, so good. You don't even know how good that was. Look how cute. We get Sully and Mike from Monsters, Inc. And the little girl. I forgot her name. This is... Ooh, it's going to be great. Adorable. Oh, look at that little purple little heart. This tastes like grape Santa, like a grape soda pop. It's delicious. One more. How about the orange? Oh no, this one. It's Peter Pan. 
We have a Peter Pan. Oh, that is adorable. And in the back, we get a little tink. And this is orange. I'm sure it's gonna be good. These have the sweetest taste. Ghost Bubble, gonna try the orange Peter Pan candy. Let's see. <laughs> so there you go, guys. You got your little Tsum Tsum hard candies. Oh, these are so good. They almost taste like fruit smoothies. They're so smooth and they're not even too, too sweet or sour. They are perfect. We got purple, pink, orange. I think my absolute fave was the pink. Woo! Stick it. You are joking, Bubble Luck. They even have Pinocchio when he turned into the donkey and like Jiminy Cricket. This is, this is too much. Look at this. Now that we tried out all the flavors of the candies, I'm so ready to open this little pack up, see what's going on with it. I think it's like little stickers. <gasps> so cute. Congratulations, Bubble. You guys did not have before Christmas. Shum Shum stickers. So cute. And that these little wrappers couldn't get cuter, we get these adorable little stickers. Oh, these are so cute. I gotta get more of them. I love it. I love it too. Now moving on. Well, Bubble Teens, we made it. We are onto the sixth and final little candy of the bananas, and it's a goodie. I think I see this for last because it was so, so cute. We got a little candy crane. Let's open it. Ooh, we got a little Hara Hara, little elephant candy crane game. How special. Open it, Bubble. Bubble, let me take off your plastic and see what kind of candies are inside. So curious. I love taking the cuteness on this. I took the wrapper off. There they are. We got the little candies at the top. Those look like little sweetie tarts. I don't know what those things are. So, so cute. And I guess we pop them in. How do you do this? So, so miniature. Oh, let's see. I think I know. Here's the top. Open up the candies. Pops them in to the red Hada Hada machine. Everybody, this is so so cute. Some of the candies fell already. Look at them. It's like a little claw machine. Over here, there's like a little lever. Coming on. Okay, Bubba, I figured it out. There's like two ways to play this game. You can either do this and like throw the candy into here. Look at that. Oh, you can just twist it like this, but it don't do much. But it's so cool. Oh, I got one. I got one. Look. This thing is too much. I can play with this all day. I didn't think it was gonna work, but you guys, it actually worked. These little candies pop up. Look, I got one. Then you bring it over to here, and you dump it in. Look at that. Bubba, looky here. It says open, prize out. Open it up. It's like a little mailbox. Taste the candy. So good. Hmm, these are actually good. You know, they do like little bubble gums, like little bubble gum. Crunchy little candies are definitely not gum. Play again, I love this. We are playing again. We are playing to win, Bubba. Let's see. Can't do it. It's going up. Ah! Found two. Better get a candy this time. Oh yeah, that's one. Bring it over and stump it in. There you go. Green. I have to say out of every single thing, oh, this is my favorite. I didn't think it would work. It works, it is so much fun. It's so cute to keep on your desk if you're a little bored. I don't know if you could bring it to school, but maybe your desk at home. It's just the cutest little candy ever. I love it. It tastes like little bubblegum sweeties. Hello, oh, this game is literally addicting. Like, I could seriously play it day and night. There you go, more candy. Let me get one more. Another yellow. It's so good. Oh, the amount of sweets on this chopping block is like insanity. There you go, guys. Another candy bonanza down. Oh, there are so many crazy sweets here. I have to say, out of every single one of these, the little candy claw machine was definitely my fave. Those were so tasty. Such a cute little game. And I love the Caplico. Oh, I have to say, I did not like the candy lipstick. They were so bland and like not tasty at all. But I did like the Shum Shum candy, the chocolate Harry Potter frog, and the candy sushi. But not the ones. I love it for you guys, so leave me a comment. Let me know of all this crazy sweet stuff. What was your fave? We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.